हेलो स्टूडेंट इन प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी लर्न्ड दैट द वैल्यू ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिकल रेशियो सच एज साइन थीटा कोस थीटा टेन थीटा कोट थीटा कोसेक थीटा सेक थीटा टेस्ट अच्छा एंड देयर कॉरस्पोंडिंग हैलू इन बिटवीन जीरो लेस और इक्वल टू थीटा लेस और इक्वल टू नाइंटी डिग्री and in that case already we learned all the values like as sin 30 degree equals to half cos 30 degree equals to root 3 by 2 and so on but yeah some question arise the question is is it possible to find the value of sin 120 degree or sin minus 120 degree or any angle which is greater than 90 degree or any angle which is lesser than 0 degree and they are corresponding values with the trigonometrical ratio yes it is possible to find all the values of angle with the help of trigonometrical ratio to find that we use this formula like as here we consider to perpendicular coordinate axis which is x o x dash y o Y dash. We already know that if we move anti-clockwise direction, then angle will be increased. And if we move clockwise direction, then angle will be decreased. So, if we find the value of angle. 120 degree then we use 90 and then this this angle is 120 degree if we find the value of minus 30 degree then we use this this is the value of angle minus 30 degree and this is the value of angle 120 degree so we see that if we move anti clockwise direction then angle will increase and if we move clockwise direction then angle will decrease to find the angle to 80 degree plus 280 degree we use this 90 this is 90 this is 19 into 2 180 and this is 19 into 3 270 and then 10 so 
So this angle, this angle is 270 plus 10, that is 280 degree. And if we represent an angle minus 170 degree, then if the angle is minus 170 degree, then we use this. This is minus 90 and another 80. So, this angle is minus 170 degree. So, in this way, we can find another angle. Suppose we find an angle 480 degrees. Here 480 equal to 90 into 5 plus 30 degree. Now we draw an angle 480 degree. This is positive 480 degree. So here we move. 90 into 4, 90 into 5 plus 30 degree. So, this angle after one complete revolution and then 90 plus 30, this angle gives 480 degree and so on. In this way, we can also find any negative angle. After that, we define here, this is coordinate system x o x dash and y o y dash. X O Y is first quadrant. In this quadrant, we consider a point P and P N is perpendicular on the positive direction of X axis. So, any coordinate in this quadrant represent as plus comma plus. So, this present when is positive and P n is also positive length. So, O P is the shortest length that is plus plus root under plus, this also gives a plus sign. So, if this angle is theta, then sin theta equals to P n upon O P, that is ratio of two positive quantity is also a positive quantity. Similarly, cos theta equals to O n that is base upon hypotenuse O p. This is also ratio of two positive quantity. This is also positive. Similarly, tan theta equals to P n upon O n. This is also ratio of two positive quantity is also positive. And their corresponding reciprocal such as cot 
theta equal to 1 upon 10 theta equals to 1 upon a positive quantity is also a positive quantity. Cosec theta is equals to 1 upon sine theta that is positive that is 1 upon positive quantity is a positive quantity and also sec theta equals to 1 upon cos theta equals to 1 upon positive quantity is also a positive quantity. In first quadrant, we see that all the trigonometric ratios like sine, cos, tan, cot, cosec, and sec all take the sign positive sign. All take positive sign. And hence, in this quadrant, that is in first quadrant, we call it as all, as here. Or in this quadrant, all the trigonometrical ratios take positive sign. And hence, this call or this quadrant remained as all. Similarly, we can define second quadrant as a quadrant of sine, which is as follows. Here, x, o, x test is x axis and y, o, y dash is y axis. In second quadrant, we consider a point Q and a perpendicular like as R. So, in second quadrant, Q represent as minus plus. That is, or represent a negative direction, but QR represents positive direction and hence OQ represents positive direction. So, in second quadrant, only the ratio perpendicular and hypotenuse is positive. All other ratios are negative and so this quadrant is called sine quadrant such as sine theta if this angle is theta then sine theta equals to positive upon positive equals to positive and hence cosec theta is also positive. All other ratios in second quadrant are negative as especially sine and cosec are positive in second quadrant and hence this quadrant is called sine quadrant. In third quadrant we take a point like as M, then this quadrant represents negative, comma negative. That is, along x axis is negative and along y axis is also negative. But length of OM is sum of square root of 2 negative, and hence this is positive. As here, base and perpendicular are same sign and hence this is positive. So, if this is theta, then tan theta is negative 
upon negative equals to positive quantity. So, cot theta is also positive quantity. All other ratios are here negative, like as sin theta, that is negative upon positive is negative. And hence, third quadrant is called tan or cot. Similarly, any point S in fourth quadrant can be taken as positive, negative. So, this length is positive and here this length is, this length is represent as negative direction, but this is positive direction. Here we see that ratios of base and hypotenuse that is cos is positive and all other ratios is negative. Cos theta equals to positive upon positive is positive and sec theta is also positive here. But all other ratios are negative here. So, we have this is first quadrant is called all quadrant, second quadrant is called sine quadrant, third quadrant is called tan quadrant and fourth quadrant is called cos quadrant. That's all. Thank you. For testing your understanding of this lesson and more videos, log on to www.tubelessons.net.